Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We're also going to take a look at what energies or intentions they have towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's jump right in for Cancer Spirit in Love. What does Cancer need to know regarding love? Messages, guidance, please. Just guidance for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? So let's see what we have for you. Cancer. All right, what's happening in your connection? We have the Nine of Coin reverse with the star. Aquarius energy there. Hmm, you know why this isn't? Make it do my piece of it. So the nine of coin reverse is a card about not being free, not being independent, being kind of um dependent on someone else. And this star. So what I'm picking up here, and of course I am gonna clarify, you know, most of these positions but it's almost like someone has some sort of tie to an idea, a wish, a desire, something that they hope for. What do we need to know about this? Any challenges or insight? King of Swords, Reverse, and the Three of Swords. Yikes. So something definitely happened here. Something very painful, disappointing. It could have been a fight. It could have been um, someone being very deceptive or hurtful with what they said or didn't say, like someone could have hurt you by lying to you. How do you feel about this person? Ace of Swords reversed, Five of Wands reversed. So I feel like you no longer wanna be fighting with this person, but at the same time, I feel like there's still like, I don't know, it's like there, there's a big conflict between you. How do they feel about you? Four of Swords, Magician. So they're thinking about something here. Something that they want to act on. We'll have to see. We'll have to see when I clarify, but they're definitely thinking about something. Um, something that maybe they're not talking about. <clears throat> something that they're thinking about, but they haven't acted on. Where is this headed? The Emperor. Aries energy and the six of cups. Okay, someone's taking charge of the situation. Maybe the situation related to the past. Um, what do we need to know about this? Any hidden factors? Oops. Eight of coin reverse. Seven of swords reverse. Yikes. So, hmm. Someone might have to do this like in secrets or they might not be able to it might not work out the way that they hoped maybe they're not able to put on the adequate effort or energy or focus into this or they might get caught doing something they shouldn't be doing which i'm trying to figure out why why this would not be a good idea for them unless there's like another person here or another situation because it could be that this person you know in order to make things right with you or make something happen here um Perhaps that means they need to disappoint another person. Interesting. Okay, so why is all this happening? The root of everything. Six of Swords, reverse. Okay, so this card can mean that someone is returning to a place they've already left or someone is delayed or blocked from leaving a situation. So we'll have to clarify that and see. All right, so let's get some insight here. Cancer, this reading will be all about the situation. We're going to um, kind of focus on what's going on. Clarity, please. For cancer. All right, let's start with this Six of Swords reverse, because this is the reason why everything is happening. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Six of Swords reverse. 
Nine of Pentacles. Okay, why is the Six of Swords reverse? So someone I feel, um, this is the goal, is to be free, independent, successful, secure. Um, is to have success. Why is the Six of Swords here reversed? Why is the Six of Swords here reversed? Justice, Libra energy. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I I get the feeling that this is possibly a return. I, I still don't have clarity, but I don't want to keep pulling cards because if the message was going to be nice and clear, it would have happened by now. <laughs> so I'm going to see what else comes out. Um, but based on what I have here, there this could be either the, the same two um, energies that I told you the Six of Swords reverse could be. So this could be somebody returning, right? Returning to make things right with the Justice card, talking about returning, wanting to be free, right? Or this could be somebody that cannot get this. And that's probably why the Nine of Coin is reversed over here with what's going on in your connection right now. And there's hope and faith that something will happen here. So, so far I still see that those are the two possibilities. So let's see what, what else I get. Why the Nine of Coin reverse? Let's start there. Why is the Nine of Coin reverse? The Nine of Coin reverse. Four of Cups. Why is the Nine of Coin reverse? Seven of Wands. So someone's not happy and guarded, um, blo blocking something here. They're not open to 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 something new. Maybe they're dealing with obstacles, challenges. Why is the star here? I think this is going to be one of those readings where I'm going to have to like pry <laughs> the information out little by little. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Judgment. Six of swords at the bottom of the deck again. What's behind this? King of Pentacles. Can I get one more for this star? Why is this star here? Why is this star here? King of Swords. Okay. So, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm starting to get this story little by little. Um, this has been a situation where at least one of you, because keep in mind, Cancer, this is what's going on in your connection. You're both here. Both of your energies are here because this is about both of you. Um, I feel like one of you, at least, is just now realizing something about this connection. Um, I have the King of Swords up right here, but it was reversed. So this down here, this energy is kind of like the insight or the challenge to the situation, right? So the fact that the King of Swords is reversed here um, and the King of Swords is up right here with the Judgment card, it's almost like someone is realizing a certain truth or getting clarity about something because Judgment is an awakening, a personal awakening. You look back at the past and it brings you clarity and you learn from those mistakes and you move on into the world. But for some reason, I feel like someone has been resistant to this. It's taken time for this to happen. Um, and I feel it's because someone could already be in another connection. I feel like there could be a third party here, uh, whether that's a person or um, maybe a family member or some sort of pressure someone's under. But I think for a lot of you, it's a person. And even though this person is, I feel, mentally checked out or resistant to this idea, I think it's, or this awakening, I think it's still going to happen. And I feel with the Three of Swords down here, I think it's going to be painful for someone. Let's see. Why the Three of Swords? Six of Pentacles. 
Oops. Five of Pentacles, the Hangman, Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. Interesting. So with the Hangman, I'm getting also like this energy of, um, where was it? The Four of Swords. Yep, right here. This is, I think, your person's energy. They're not really doing anything right now. Uh, they're thinking, they're reflecting. But I am also picking up look at the seven of swords seven of swords is over here reverse right so i feel like this person might have to do something that hurts another person or will do something or is doing something that hurts another person maybe their actions will lead to disappointment and conflict i feel like this is in the form of a conversation or communication tell me about the king of swords reverse why is the King of Swords reverse? King of Swords reverse. Oh, five of Wands, Seven of Cups. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's. it's almost like there's conflict surrounding this whole situation that you are dealing with with this person. Um, and I'm not sure why, but I feel like it's almost like this person, no matter what they do, someone's going to get hurt or someone's going to be mad or the situation could blow up in their face. Um, I feel like this person has probably been trying to figure out how to get out of this problem. Um, I feel like maybe they tried to do both at once or maybe they thought maybe they weren't giving enough to one or the other. I don't know. It was something off here. I don't know if this person also um, was unfaithful. Because when I see the Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords, I think someone got their heart broken because of deception. So it's almost like they were lied to and it broke their heart or they're heartbroken about it. You know, and I have the King of Swords reverse who tends to be deceptive. And I have the Ace of Swords reverse. And your end here. So you could have been hurt by this person, lied to by this person, or misled. You know, it doesn't have to fully be someone lying to you, but you know, lying through omission is still lying, right? Leaving something out is still lying. So I feel like this, this is something that has happened in this connection already, or is happening right now. And that's not to say that this person, you know, maybe they they feel bad about it. You know, it's, I don't think that this person just wants to ignore this and move on with their life. I don't think they can. Let's look at how you feel about each other. Your energy is here. Feel free to um, flip whatever energies make sense to you, Cancer. The rules could be reversed. So can get some insight, please? Can I get some insight, please, for Cancer? Tell me about Cancer and their person. What is Cancer's energies in this connection? <clears throat> what is Cancer's energies in this connection? Mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. So you feel like maybe this is a soulmate or a twin flame, if you believe in that, or... Um, Someone that you have mutual feelings for. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know about the person that Cancer is dealing with? True love. Oh my God. So you're both into each other. You're both mirroring each other. You both want each other. I think the problem is everything that's happened. And now I'm starting to see also... Communication or clarity is extremely important because it keeps showing up. I have the Page of Swords up here in this position, King of Swords in this position, Knight of Swords in this position. Something that someone has to say. But I feel like, once again, I feel like someone has screwed up here or will screw up here because I have the Seven of Swords reversed in the future position. In Cancer, it could very well be that you hid something from this person too. Flip it if it resonates for you. 
but I feel like something here was um, someone was prob possibly deceived um, or hurt by someone's words or lack of words maybe. Why is Ace of Swords reverse? Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Hmm. I feel like you have not heard from this person. There's the Four of Swords. Yep. I feel like hearing from this person would give you the chance to maybe fix what happened between you, resolve what happened between you. Um, I feel like maybe you're wondering if this will ever happen, if this person will ever talk to you, if this will ever be resolved. I think you don't even know how this person feels, Cancer. Tell me about the Four of Swords with the Magician. What can you tell me about the Four of Swords with the Magician? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Yeah, this is someone that's really been thinking about what to do. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Magician. Ace of Wands. So they definitely want to have some sort of, um, they want to take some sort of action here with the uh, Ace of Wands. Can I get one more for the Four of Swords and the Magician? Why is the Four of Swords with the Magician here? This one. The Sun. Okay. Clarity. Uh, okay. And then there's the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So I think you already know what I'm going to say here. <laughs> I feel like this person, um, I think they would have to hurt someone to be with you or they would have to cause pain or disappointment to someone to be with you. And I feel like they're going back and forth about this. Yeah. Seven of cups, five of wands. And then with the, that was clarifying the king of swords reverse. Tell me about this sun. Tell me about this sun. Why is the sun here? The Wheel of Fortune. My goodness. So I feel like there's an opportunity that this person is probably seeking or will be coming to this person. <clears throat> they would have to be the ones to act on it. But this Ten of Wands is telling me that they. I, I feel like they. this person cannot go on the way they've been going on. Or they can't. You know, there's something happening here, you know, with the judgment card. Time to make a judgment call, time to wake up, time to realize a situation, a truth. And maybe they've been resistant to this, you know, maybe they've been resistant to uh, leaving the situation that they're in. Because I do have the Six of Swords reverse, you know, despite the fact that I think they, they think about this, you know, they probably imagine... A future where they're free um, where things are fair to them because maybe where they're at it's not really fair but the ten of wands is almost telling me that this person you know they need to be careful because and this is a running theme I've been getting with the wheel of fortune you know the wheel of fortune shows up and then it leaves again it's not it doesn't just show up and stay there so someone could miss it and with the hangman Four of Swords, you know, the Hermit. These are thinkers. These are not people that are taking action. The Emperor does, though. So let's let's see what's going on here. The Magician does. So I feel like this is someone that's thinking about what to do. But again, that fear that we saw. Fear of hurting someone. Because I think they've already hurt someone in the past. Maybe they're worried about money, too, because I have the Five of Pentacles here. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, bringing balance, harmony to a situation. And it's very fascinating to me, Cancer. I don't have any cards, literally any cards on the board about love or a page of cups or a knight of cups or a king of cups or queen of cups. Um, I don't even have like page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. So I feel the issue here is communication and clarity. Nothing else will, you can't progress past that until you can't progress to a knight of cups until you have a page of swords 
I hope that makes sense. We'll see if it you know comes out in the future here. But so far, I don't. I feel like you both mirror each other. I think there are real feelings here between you and this person. But I don't think that. I think that this has been like a struggle, you know, up to this point. Tell me about the emperor. Can I get one more for the emperor, please? Why is the emperor here? Nine of cups. So this person, um, bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Yeah, they know what they have to do, basically. Yep, Ace of Pentacles after that. They know what they have to do. It starts with this big Ace of Swords, which is not happening because I have an Ace of Swords reverse on your side here, or at least in your mind, um, you haven't heard from this person or you haven't gotten clarity from this person. You've been waiting for it, but it hasn't come. And the reason that maybe something is taking so long, because Temperance is a card about time. Tell me about the Six of Cups real quick. Is that something here is not working. Because this is the insight, the hidden factors of the outcome. And I have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Coin reverse here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yep, six, Ace of Swords. Someone needs to talk about the past, about what's happened, about your connection, if this is a soulmate type of connection. But I feel like something happened in the past between you and this person. So why the Eight of Coin reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse? Why is the Eight of Coin reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse for Cancer? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Can you get one more? Why is the Eight of Coin reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse? Why is the Eight of Coin reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse? The Devil, yeah. I feel like this person's with a karmic partner or there's a karmic situation happening here. Um, when I see the, the lovers and the devil together, which is, is kind of new to me as a reader, but it just makes sense. Um, I think of a um, obviously Capricorn and Gemini energy here. But when I see these two energies together, I think of a karmic partnership. An unhealthy partnership, an unhealthy union, something that's kept someone bound. Um, and stuck rather than you know the opposite <laughs> i guess i should say now bottom of the deck i have the empress which i find it very fascinating and then a queen of swords so i feel like this there is another person here and that's the problem this whatever karmic situation this is by the way let me see if i can get another one. Oh, okay um all right Look at the cards that fell out. Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. <laughs> exactly. This needs to end. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I literally picked it up to get one more card and that's what came out. Ten of Swords and Five of Cups. So yes, this needs to end. This, this situation needs to end. Um, this is the big, I guess, block in this connection between you and this person. I'm, I think you're already aware of this, though. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. It looks like um, someone here, I feel, is waking up to what they need to do. Or they're already aware of what they need to do. I think this will make them very happy with the Nine of Cups. I think this might be your person. But the opportunity won't be there forever. You know? This opportunity won't be here forever. So if they really want a new beginning, if they really want to do something about this situation they're in, they need to act quickly. Um... I hope it resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed it, Cancer. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider liking, subscribing. Leave me a comment if it resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. I uh, thank you so much for all of your support, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.